All right, today I'm going to be comparing the Gillette Labs heated razor, <coughs> five blades. It's got a little heat bar right here to uh, heat up your skin, open up your pores as you shave. And I'm going to be comparing it to the Gillette Skin Guard. It's got these plastic bars to keep you from pushing too hard with the blades. So you can only shave so deep. It's for people with sensitive skin. <coughs> um, usually these a tiny bit of I want to say five o'clock shadow, just barely any stubble, but I want to see how close it shaves compared to something like this. I'm going to start out with the Gillette Skin Guard first in case I have to clean up with this one when I'm done. Shave half of my face with this, half with the Gillette Lab heated. Because this has the Skin Guard, you can push fairly hard and there's absolutely no discomfort or pain or anything, which is kind of nice about this one. I don't like to say what it is. You just can't get as close of a shave as you want with the razors. But if you do get ingrown hairs, it's not a wise idea to use a, an electric shaver, especially a foil one, because they're known, especially the foil ones are known for ingrown hairs. All right, this is the part where I go in for the second shave. I always have a little bit of stubble left over with the skin guard razor. It's the only thing I don't like about it. So just going over it, I can already see some stubble and feel a little bit of stubble. But if you want a really quick, comfortable shave and you don't mind, like I said, a tiny bit of stubble you can hardly see, this is definitely the razor for you. Now I'm going to start with the Gillette Labs heated razor on the other side. You can see that it's on. I had it on for a while. You can feel the heat coming from this bar. I just want to kind of try to shave slow with this one, let the heat do its job. And uh, I run it under hot water as well, so the whole shaver's hot. And just take it a little bit slow. This one's relatively pain-free as well, so. As far as a close shave, it blows the Gillette Skin Guard out of the water. As far as comfort, can't beat the Gillette Skin Guard because of the Skin Guard. But as far as comfort, it's hard to beat this Gillette Labs heated razor. So if you're willing to spend some money, I would definitely go after this Gillette Labs heated razor. I'm actually shaving a little bit too fast. I need to let that heat do its job. But uh, I always shave with the grain and then go against the grain. So when I go back for my second pass, I will probably go a little bit slower. As you can see, I don't know if you can see or not right there. I did get a nick even with the skin guard on. That's probably just from trying to press too hard to get a closer shave. So when I go back for the second pass to really get the clean shave with this heated razor, I'm going to go a little bit slow. really can't beat this heated razor as far as comfort and close shave. The only bad thing is it doesn't vibrate like the power razors. So. I hate to say it, but I would just still go with my Gillette Fusion Pro Glide Power over this one. 
but uh, this one definitely beats the Gillette Skin Guard. I've actually got another nick over here, just from trying to get a closer shave with even with the Skin Guard on it. I'm gonna have to go over it with the Gillette Labs heat up razor. So the winner is definitely the Gillette Labs heated razor. As far as a, a total rating of comfort and a close shave.